Salutations, it's your boy D-Boom once again. Back like cook crack, you know what I'm talking about? We got the Divine Masculine situation, you know what I'm saying, for July 22nd to July 29th. Leo season has begun, July 26th in the house. Holla at your boy Thursday, you already know what it is, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got Leo, you tweaking, just throwing that out there, go get you one. Aha, <laughs> for Rizzios. <laughs> So, I'm going to just go straight with it. Um, had a nice message for the Twin in separation. Very eager, very eager to see where this Divine Masculine is at right now. Um, as far as his situation himself. And this is going to be a regular timeline reading, just like any other Divine Feminine situation. Or Twin Flame situation. Or separation situation. We're going to have the Mystery Madness role for the Divine Masculine up top. We're going to have the Divine Masculine's role at the bottom. Overall energy, bottom line energy, as usual, and we're going to ask the universe three questions on his behalf after we pick those clarification cards. During clarification, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a rant for you. So, let's get to these new energies, new week, new energies, see what's up. Astrology videos, I'm going to do Earth today, and if I got time, hopefully knock air out too. Just trying to really get these astrology videos done today and tomorrow, so be looking out for LLE Astrology. If you enjoyed them last week, you're going to enjoy them this week. Trust me. Once again, Earth goes first, because I did Earth last, last time. Then it's air signs, then water signs, then fire signs. Of course, I'm doing Leo last, because I'm going to do a Leo segment, because I'm Leo, and Leo's rock, and you already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? You already know what it is. So anyway, let's get straight to it. We got the Mystery Madness roll up top with the Divine Masculine. And we got the Divine Masculine's roll at the bottom. This is Divine Masculine's situation. And let's just get with it. Jay-Z here. Alright, let's get with it. So... Off top, we got the Ten of Swords, Ultimate Betrayal. Bottom line, Romeo card. So, how I'm taking this is the Divine Masculine is going to be, he's going to get the Ultimate Betrayal. Or it's going to be a big death. Whatever, if it's a death or if it's the Ultimate Betrayal or if it's a breakup, whatever this shit is, it's going to hit his heart space Hard. Big time. This could be the equivalent of you, Divine Feminine, moving away. Out of, to another city, another state, another country. Just fulfilling purpose over a person. Because that's what the fuck you're supposed to do anyway. This is going to happen with me and my twin. I'm definitely dipping. So... He gonna take it as the ultimate betrayal, even though he's saying he's cool with the shit, but I know what it is. Cause bottom line, this whole Romeo and Juliet shit me and him got going on, which is our whack ass little demo. I mean it's cool, I ain't saying whack like I ain't talking down on it or nothing like that. It's just our demo is different. So it's like all oh, this little Romeo and Juliet shit, that shit dead. <laughs> Done! Maybe that's what's dead. Is the whole Romeo and Juliet shit with you and him. Cause that, like at this point, it's about purpose. Purpose over person. Coming into this demo. Union. Love it! You know, this is the uh, masculine's Mrs. Ma Mystery Madness role coming into this from the gate. From the gate, union, union, union. It's just in the air. It's in the freaking air. Which means it's constantly on his mind. Like I say, he's thinking about it. He's imagining what this could be. He's imagining all this could, what this could bring. Once again, anytime, anytime a masculine thinking about union, he's thinking about the physical and financial benefits of this before any type of love, emotional benefit. Trust me. That's why if you, I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> He's analyzing the financial and physical benefits of being in union. That shit is popping in his head, which is why this shit's here. I don't think he's fully grasped the emotional, spiritual, and divine 
benefits of being a twin flame. Coming to the situation, he's solid as a rock on stone. GD over here, though. Ha! He's solid. On phone now. Point blank. Period. Why well, feminine? Excuse me. Mystery madness role. And the feminine energy, we got the eight of wands. Four of wands. Eight of wands. He's going to have to turn it up. He's going to be vocal about this. What he thinks this is. How he thinks this should be. If he's got any input, input to it. He's going to get very vocal. Very communicative as far as his twin shit. Once again, not like, like back in the day where it's like he's asking random questions to figure out, okay, what's the divine feminine? What's the divine mess? All that shit. Like, we passed that, obviously. He's at the point where it's like, okay. First thing I want to know, what are the physical benefits of being in union with you? All right. Secondly, what's the financial benefits of being in a, in a union with you? My twin said that shit. See, it's the physical he can't get over, which is why we can't even entertain anything else. It's like he can't even get over the fact that, okay, we're two guys, so what relationship are you fucking talking about? I'm like our twin flame relationship, homie. It's obvious me and Dayton. You know what I'm saying? But we do have a purpose. That's why we're here. Okay? And I've been very vocal to him about what this is. But he doesn't even, he can't even see it past the first block. Like, you got physical, spiritual, mental, spiritual, physical, mental, financial. Right? Let's put it like that. Financially, he understands what the fuck this is. It's just since I cuss him my shit and he's in the church and I'm kind of a rebel. He just he just don't want to get no money with me because he think I'm going to fuck his image up. And really, I'm the motherfucker with the image and you don't need to fuck my shit up. Emotionally, he's content with me. I think we have a nice emotional bond. Given that we're two guys in a flame situation, I think our emotional availability to each other is pretty deso. Deso suit. However, he cannot comprehend the physical. He just can't see it. He can't. And that's what he's like. If he, if that's what he can't see, he's going to get vocal about it. If he can't see the financial benefit of being in union, he's going to talk about it. If he can't tell you like, like I said, he's going to break down this shit into different points and really try to figure this shit out. Because at the end of the day, him in regards to you and his own energy position, we got the aces of swords. This is a big ass decision. Or big ass move he needs to make. And what's under this is like this is what's on top of this. So, like I say, of course he's being very vocal because he has he's got a big ass decision to make. He's got a big ass he's got a big ass move to make. You know what I mean? So as far as the divine masculine's uh mystery madness role in regards to himself, he's hurt. He's hurt because he has to catch up to you. Catching up to you is painful. But catching up to you while in pain is making him strong enough to even make this happen. Four swords is being in your head. I don't take it as like I don't mind it. I take it as like when you're on a treadmill and you in your head to stay focused so you ain't like not doing your workout so you ain't not doing your cardio you feel what i'm saying it's like he's digging deep within himself to stay focused on what he needs to focus on so he can get to you in the best manner possible as far as why i'm asking regards himself he's the ten of pentacles once again he's complete with you he found his twin check now he's got to get busy you found him, check. Now he has to get busy before you can do anything with him. Now, you ain't waiting on him because you got purpose to fulfill the line feminine, so it ain't nothing like that. Moving on.
We got the seven of wands right here. Uphill battle. Mystery madness bro. Why I'm asking going in the future. He think he got an uphill battle, but like I say, it's not an uphill battle. What it is, four of wands coming to the situation, union, seven of wands going to the future. Sappho, all day, all day, on some out eight. All day. I just take it as like four of wands plus three of wands, which is the Trinity car equals seven of wands. He's having an uphill battle trying to figure out his role because he's looking at you and your role all day. It's like he's he's hearing about the three of wands all day from you. And he's hearing about the four of wands all day from you. And it's like he can't really understand it. Subconsciously, he understands his role. Subconsciously. But consciously, he still cannot wrap his mind around the whole twin flame reasoning. Nor your role. Feminine. He doesn't understand what Trinity is. He doesn't understand the whole... He has to be a stabilizer for you to create. You know, create what? It's like, I'm telling my twin shit. It's like, like, bro, all I need you to do is show face. Just be right here. You can tell them. You can tell them whatever you want to tell them. Tell them I ain't your twin and I'm crazy and, and this shit and that. Because y'all going to see exactly what the fuck it is. Y'all going to see what I see. Okay? He might catch on late, but he ain't got <laughs> like to do too much. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do too much at all because it's like I'm doing both jobs anyway. It's like I'm doing your role and my role, fool. All you got to do is just show face. Because it ain't like you really doing your, your job out here with me. Like I said, it's not like you gave me this knowledge. It's not like you dropped all this shit for me to kick to y'all. He just, all this shit that I get from him is just downloads. He doesn't have to say shit. He can just look at me goofy. And from that look, I'm going to get something and then build from that. What I've been doing. Why feminine works double hard and double time, but it's easy. She can do both roles twice as hard, easy. He can't do one role, easy. But at the end of the day, he's getting ghosted by you. Like I say, you're so woven in his shit that he sees you everywhere he turns. Your first thing on his mind when he wakes up. Your last shit on his mind when he goes to bed. He's giving you good morning texts all of a sudden now. He's calling more regularly now. Like, more interested in what the fuck you're into. Because you're ghosting him. Now, clarification time. So, What I kind of want to drop during this period where I got y'all right now, I just want to stress on another thing that's very important in this twin flame situation. Knowing who your twin is. From the looks of it, the shit looked easy, right? From the looks of it, you think you kind of got some footing in it, right? But once you get deeper, you see you was far off. Especially if you're still trying to find recognition with your twin right now. Best way for you to figure out your twin, Joe, is your soul song. The ghosting part. Dreams, signs, synchronicities, visions. You gotta be on alert. It's like you getting deployed in Vietnam. Literally, you 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 drop off a motherfucking helicopter to the other side of the world in a place you ain't never fucking been before. If your ass say looking what's around you, use a goofball. If you ain't learning how to survive from the gate, use a goofball. If you ain't making friends and doing what you need to do to solidify your position and get your ass home, use a goofball. To me, that's the difference between motherfuckers that came home and the motherfuckers that, that stayed. To me, the niggas that came home had a plan. 
I bet you when they got off that motherfucking helicopter, they put in their head before their feet hit the ground, they was coming back home. By any means necessary. So whatever the fuck they had to do. They had to learn language just to see what the hell they was these these gooks and shit was talking around around them and shit. So they can be one step ahead or anything they can do. Niggas ain't had Google Maps and Google phones back then and shit. Motherfuckers still using maps. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Different world. Way harder than what it is now to do some shit like then it is now. Take pride in that. Say that while I'm dealing these cards. It's 2018, man. You got YouTube channels. You got your freaking phone. You got Siri. You got the whoever this Google chick is. My cricket phone. Uh, you got her. <laughs> you got help. What the fuck more do you need other than a person to hold your hand and, and cook your food for you and cut your food up and feed it to you? That's what you want these psychics to do for you? you got more than fuck enough ain't resources in 2018 to figure out who your twin is. It's not like 19 fucking 60 or the 20th century, like the 19th century, 18th century medieval times where it was hard as fuck. To find love or find the one and shit like that. Well, God really had to drop the one by you. It ain't like you was going online to find your one all the way across another motherfucking country. You had to go across to another motherfucking country anyway to go see the one or meet the one. Times change for the better. How the fuck is it harder for you to find twin flames harder than it was for motherfuckers back in <laughs> Huck Finn days to find motherfucking twins and shit? Don't give me that. Not me. You can tell them other psychics that shit. You can't tell me that shit. God. That go for religion too. Bible say that shit. It's 218. Ain't no dog. The Bible was blanketed around the earth like the internet. You can literally pick the Bible out the sky. Give me that. Or put it in your phone. Give me that. And if you ain't fucking with the Bible, it could be the Quran, uh, your rancher book, anything. You can't play stupid in 2018. Dumbass. It's three-year-old kids who utilize the resources you could be using to get on your own shit. They smarter than you. These motherfuckers that was around before technology, finding their true loves of their life, doing their inner work. They better than you. Yeah, they actually were on every level, but, you know, don't give me that shit. Y'all twins... Y'all divines, y'all got everything y'all need to succeed, survive, and thrive in this whole divine ascension program that you got with your twin here. You just got to put that work in. You just got to put that work in. Period. Point. Blank. Period. Rant over with. Let's get straight to it. Once again, it's going to take the ultimate betrayal, you know, the end of not a relationship, but this would be the equivalent of like divine feminine. You move to another state or a country or something. And it's like out of that, out of that chess move, he becomes the king. He becomes divine. He ain't gonna have no choice but to get divine because you ain't around no more. Imagine that you wasn't around. You're ghosting him now. He tweaking now with you around him, being submerged in your energy. Imagine that presence being gone. He addicted to your sauce, right? He needs to get back to the sauce, right? You think he's going to handle going cold turkey? Fuck it. It don't matter. Maybe he needs that cold turkey time. You know what I mean? For you and for him. But it's going to hurt you or it's going to hurt him. Even if he's physically going through withdrawals, but you spiritually, mentally... And divinely been going through symptoms and signs since you met him. Bottom line, there's no more Romeo and no more Juliet because Trinity ain't in the picture no more. He's going to have to, once again, when Trinity's not around and he's by himself, he's going to have to fulfill the divine feminine role and his role. He's going to have to do both roles like you've been doing both roles since day one. Coming to the situation. Divine masculine, mystery madness role. Union is going to happen. Why? Because he's by himself and keeping shit classy. He's on his Patty LaBelle shit. Meaning, 
He don't give a fuck about nobody else but you. He might deal physically with other people. He might, you know, be investing in some other shit, but it's you who he wants. It's you who's on a level unlike no other. You've officially put yourself where you need to be as far as these other karmics and crows is concerned. You're here. It's like I said, the pimp cup chronicles. You're finally his favorite cup now that he's sipping from on a daily. Divine masculine in regards to the feminine energy and the mystery madness role. Clarifying this verbalization he got going on. We got the Knight of Swords. He's going to be very verbal about the decisions he made. He's going to be very verbal about what he wasn't paying attention to. He's going to be very verbal about the past mistakes and ill decisions that he made on behalf of you. He's going to be very verbal about like how bad he messed up and where he's trying to go. How he can alleviate this problem. How he can help. He's going to be very vocal about his mistakes. Past mistakes. Current mistakes. Because at the end of the day, him in regards to you and his role, his personal role, you know what I'm saying? The unconditional love he has for you is turning into unconditional love he has for himself. Self, high admiration and respect he had for you is turning into high, high admiration and respect for his damn self. So, upon getting this self love, upon getting this self awareness, a for awareness, he's gonna start ascending, a ascending. He's gonna make a decision. Which would probably be to build a motherfucking spaceship to blast off to catch the feminine on Venus or Mars or wherever she's at. Because she won't, she's not going to be close to those who won't be close. Mystery Madness role in regards to the Divine Masculine. We're finding this three of swords here, this heart, this pain. We got the, the sauce card. The sauce. Once again, when the Divine Feminine is gone... Not forever, but just because she's out doing purpose. She's doing what she needs to do. So God don't smack her. It's like the sauce gone. That's why you hurt. If she's gone, the sauce is gone. That means you can't steal her sauce. That means you can't know what's going on with the sauce. That means you can't pour her sauce on other karmics and shit because you ain't got no sauce to steal to put on anybody else's meal. You hurt. All that sauce, all that swag, all that love, all that of admiration, all that attention gone. You gonna go with you're gonna go through the draw. Straight up and down. Period. That God divine feminine really ain't crack. <laughs> it's like can I find this ten of pinnacle? It's like you good. You found your twin masculine check. And your wish was granted. Because this is the type of person you always wanted in your life. You got everything you always wanted. And you're at the cusp of being emotionally fulfilled. Going to the future. And the mystery man is well. As far as this uphill battle. We got a celebration. Six of Wands. It's like you looked at that uphill battle. You seen that hill for what it really is. Now, proper preparation prevents poor performance. You getting ready. You know what I'm saying? To make that move. And that's something to celebrate. You finally got a game plan. You finally see stuff for what it really is. Now you can never get it misconstrued. And you're correcting the mistakes that you make. Going to the future. My masculine is his own role in regards to himself. Once again, no matter where you go, divine feminine, you can move to another state or another fucking country. You're going to ghost him so bad, he's going to want to come to where the fuck you are. He has to be in the same space to get the sauce. Sauce meaning he needs to blend energies with you. He needs to be around you. The physical toll of not having you around is going to Fuck him up beyond recognition. Then you're going to be ghosting him the whole time. He's trying to go cold turkey from, from the love and the respect and, and whatever it is you bring to him. So he's going to have to get on the same level as you. Get to the same city, same state. Buy a plane ticket, get to the same country. He has to be near you. Period. Clarifying. Oh, no, not clarifying. What does the divine masculine want to let the divine feminine know in the fourth and fifth dimension? He still got shit he got to get out the way. So he can start to a cup in you. But before he can start to a cup in you, once again, he's got he's got some shit he got to remove. 
He's got some shit that's got to end. Or you yourself, divine feminine, like I said, you just remove yourself out of his situation so he can deal with his situation so he can get to you. What does the divine masculine fourth, fourth and fifth dimensional self want to tell him? Move fast and furiously towards the divine feminine. Nine of wands. Move fast and furiously towards the divine feminine. What does the universe want to let him know? Get out your head and on your ass. Get off your head and on your ass. Off your ass on your feet. Ain't time to beat your meat. Run some out. Get busy. You found your twin. Check. Now get busy. Get to her. If she's on Venus, get there. Shit. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you still amongst those stars and shit. You still on a higher echelon. You ain't on Earth with the rest of these scrubs and bums and bitches. Run some out. Get with it. Divine Master, get with it. That's the message that I got. Hope I can be of some assistance. It's your boy D. Boom. Deuces.